Whew. All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd. So today we're going to be talking about how to know a girl you're talking to is interested in you. She likes you. Okay, uh, this is a very confusing subject for a lot of guys. A lot of the signals that women give sometimes aren't always accurate, and a lot of people think that a girl is interested in them uh, when in reality they're actually not. So uh, in this video, I'm going to be telling you all of the for sure signs that a girl does when she likes a guy. Uh, I'm also going to be telling you about stuff that a lot of guys think is a sign that she's interested in you, but can actually be be not true, and she's not actually interested in you. And then the final thing that I'm going to give you at the very end is actually the question that you should be asking, uh, which is not does she like me, uh, but something else. So I'm going to be giving you that to the at the end. Okay, cool. So uh, before I get into this, if you guys are looking to get a call from me where I can personally talk about you and what you're trying to do with women, uh, for a chance to win that, uh, take a look at, there's a survey down below in the description. There's a link to it, and there's also going to be uh, the top comment on this video is going to have this survey too. So if you fill out that survey, you have a chance to win a free call with me. Um, most of the people who are filling it out are getting calls. So if you want to be one of those people, fill out that form. It's going to really help out with the channel and really help out with me producing better content for you guys. Okay, cool. So the first thing that I'm going to give you uh, when it comes to knowing if a girl is interested in you is proximity. If a girl is hanging out nearby you, if a girl is making excuses to, I don't know, uh, go to the same parties that you're going to, if she just likes to hang out with you if you're at school, she likes to pass by you in the hallway all the time. Um, or if you're at a bar or a club or a party or something, you'll probably see a few of these girls kind of hanging around like nearby you if you're just chatting with your friends, okay? Uh, a lot of times they'll have their backs turned to you as well too. Um, but they'll they'll try and get close to you. Like women are just drawn to um, guys that they're attracted to. And what they're trying to get you to do is they're trying to get you to talk to them. But women are not as direct as men in this area. What they'll usually do is they'll usually, hey, I'll try and get him to notice me and try and get him to say something, uh, but they'll rarely actually come up to you and uh, say that they think you're attractive and they want to get your phone number. Um, I mean, I've maybe had that happen to me two or three times in my life uh, of a lifetime of me going out. And um, by the way, this is two or three uh, girls that I actually found attractive. Um, that's maybe happened to me once in a blue moon, and usually when it does happen, I'm usually like, okay, I can't be seen talking to this girl. So <laughs> uh, a lot of times there's a girl that I'm not exactly attracted to who comes up to me. So uh, usually you're going to be the one that has to do it, but if they are attracted to you a lot of times, or they like you, a lot of times they'll be hanging out uh, nearby you and ma making excuses. Okay, they'll be in your space. All right, the second thing uh, is that she's maintaining good eye contact. If she's talking to you and she's not distracted by a lot of the things that are around her, maybe she's not checking out other guys, um, but she's looking directly at you, making eye contact with you, and that's the number one thing that matters. Okay, obviously this is a really great sign. You know, if, um, if I'm talking to a girl and she's kind of like looking over to the side, she's wondering whatever things are, she's checking her phone, um, probably not a girl who's that interested in you. There's a chance she might just be really shy and insecure, uh, but a lot of the time that means uh, she's looking for something else that's better. But if she's totally focused on you, dude, she's interested in you, man. Okay, cool. So uh, the third thing that I'm going to give you is uh, she's fidgeting a lot. So if she's like kind of, I have the long hair for this so I can demonstrate. If she's always doing this, if she's kind of like playing with it, if she's kind of like, uh, maybe she's taking some stuff off her shirt. This is called preening where she's kind of like adjusting things and, and fidgeting around with it. She's doing something like she's nervous. She's a little nervous. She's excited to be around you. Uh, this is a really great sign. This means that uh, obviously you're a big deal to her and she wants to make a good impression on you. When people are nervous, they're excited, they tend to start fidgeting, they tend to start moving in certain ways. Now, every girl does a different thing, okay? Like, just because a girl plays with her hair one time when she's talking to you doesn't mean she's interested in you, okay? Some girls will, will, will play their hair. Some girls will fidget. Some girls will play with, you know, whatever thing they have in their hand. Maybe it's a beer bottle or a drink or something like that. Uh, women do a variety of different things, uh, but they'll be fidgeting in some way, shape, or form uh, when they're talking to you, okay? So that's, that's the fourth. Is that the third thing? 
Yeah, it's the third thing. Okay, uh, the fourth thing is that she follows you. I talk about this all the time. Though. The man-to-woman interaction is the man leads and the woman follows. If you get a girl that follows you around, who does what you want to do, if she's, if you say, hey, let's go to the bar and get a drink, and she comes with you and leaves her friends, like that's probably the best sign that she's interested in you when you're out. I don't know about anything else that's better than that. But also, too, if you're texting her and you're trying to make plans with her, and she's agreed to go out with you, she's, she shows up, you know like all of those things are really great but if you're getting a girl who's like oh I'll let you know or hey how about we try this place instead sometimes these girls will even go out with you and I've been on this you know many many a time in the past where I was out on a date with a girl she said she liked me she said she did all of these things but then when it came down to it she wasn't really willing to follow me that much okay she was trailing behind or she would walk a uh, uh, fair distance in front of me whenever I said hey let's meet at this place to get a drink she's like hey why don't we meet at this other place it's better you know she you probably won't be getting a lot of that if the girl is really really into you again she's down to follow you and that means the girl's really attracted to you so that's my biggest test that I do with a lot of women now a lot of times guys will get confused and this is where I'm getting into the part where um, you know guys will make the mistake of thinking a girl is interested in them when she's actually not. So typically women will say a lot of things to be nice to you. They, they don't want to hurt your feelings and so they're going to say a lot of things that you interpret as mixed signals or you interpret as something but like I think you know she's attracted to me it's just she won't meet up with me. Well is she really dude? Um, you know at, at this point in time the question almost doesn't even matter okay. So women with the way that they feel about uh, a guy that they're into, it, like their feelings fluctuate. They're not always constant. She's not always going to be up here in terms of liking you. Sometimes she'll be up here. Maybe sometimes she'll be down here. Maybe sometimes she'll be here. You know. And so for you to want to know if a girl likes you, sometimes she doesn't even know either, dude. Sometimes she's like, you know, I kind of like this guy some days, and maybe some days I don't like him. And a lot of people say, why is this girl sending me mixed signals? Like, what what is she trying to tell me, dude? Mixed signals signals is the message. Sometimes she likes you, sometimes she doesn't. So what you have to decide in this realm is, is this girl good for me and my life? Look, man, liking you is cheap. You have to treat yourself as a high value individual, okay? There are a lot of girls that could like you, or there are a lot of girls that do like you. In me and my position, there's a shit ton of girls that like me. Are all of them good for my life? Should I pursue all of them? No. No. I have to ask myself, like, do I like this person? Is this person good for me in my life? These are the questions you should be answering a lot more. And if you ask yourself this question a lot more, you're going to go after the right things. You're going to be pursuing the right women. You're going to be having a lifestyle that contributes more to meeting girls and doing the right things to make yourself successful with them. You know, I get too many guys who are so caught up in trying to get a girl to like them that they don't even ask themselves this question. Do you really want a girl who flakes on you twice? Do you really want a girl who's sending you mixed signals all the time where sometimes you feel great because she's into you and other times you feel like shit because she's ignoring you? Do you really want a girl like that in your life even if she likes you? Which she probably does in some way, shape, or form. But I guarantee you if you actually look at the grand sum total of how it's going to affect your life and you have any shred of self-respect, you're going to be like, no, I don't want that person in my life, okay? <laughs> and you shouldn't. Um, so I would invite you guys to ask that question a lot more. Okay, cool. So that's all I have to say about this issue, you guys. By the way, if you live in Toronto, I'm going to be in Toronto, not this weekend, but the next weekend after that. I'm going to be speaking at a free conference. I'd love to get you guys there. And then afterwards, I'm going to take a few select people to go out and we'll do some live training together. So um, I forget where. It's going to be in some hotel room. But um, if you want the details to that, send me an email about it. Um, and uh, I will give you the details there, but uh, I'll try and post them down below in the comment section below. Thanks for watching you guys. Good luck out there.